Hi folks, Chris Fox of Permatex. We're back in the garage today. Going to talk a little bit about more engine repair. Today's subject is gasket removal and service prep for new engine assembly or any kind of repairs. Before we do anything, like always, shop safety first. You know, you guys are building engines and transmissions. You're putting them together. You're using gaskets, gasket sealers, RTV silicones that we make. Well, sooner or later, you have to take those parts back off later on. You got to clean the surfaces to repair for new gaskets or new silicone applications. We're going to show you a way today that you can use chemicals instead of mechanical devices to prep your parts. This way here, you're not getting any kind of metal contamination. You're doing a really good job. Um, you know, in the old days, what we used to do is we have a steel engine part. Let me use this plate here just as a reference. And you had a gasket on there. What you would do is you'd take a razor blade or a screwdriver and you'd scrape the old gasket material off. Well, here's what you got to watch out for. You start having these aluminum parts like this plate is here. You start ending up scratching this part. Worse yet, you can get metal contamination inside the engine. Also, you have imperfections in the metal, which are very hard to you know, take care of later on as far as filling those back in. So it's really a good idea to try to work towards using other ways of, of removing these, um, these chemicals on the parts. Let me show you this right here. I've got a gasket glued on here using Indian Head Gasket Shellac. It's an old product, I understand that, but it's still used quite a bit. It does a very good job. These are solvent-based gasket sealers. Now, we have a product to remove those. This right here is our gasket remover. As solvent based, it will work on the Indian head. It will also work on our high tack in the bottle with a little brush on top of it. Also, the high tack spray, the one we use here. These solvent based, like I said, they're kind of hard to remove as far as uh, finding a chemical that work pretty well. Our gasket remover does a very good job. The way it works is you take the cap off, you push a small little trigger down, and the material that comes through this foam pad brush, I should say, and it's applied to the product. Now you should let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. That way there kind of works and it gets uh, the solvent loosened back up. You can take it off pretty easy. Now the one I have sitting over here, it's been on here for, oh, probably about 15 minutes or so. And I'll show you how this works. You can get a good look at it right here. As I wipe this down, there you go. It's removing it. Best thing about this is, it's removing that old gasket material. Now remember, you've already removed the paper part of the core part of the gasket. What I'm talking about is residual that's left behind. Now you can put it on top of the gasket if you want to, like have it here, let it work around it either, either way you want to do it. There we go. Does a really good job. Best of all, I haven't taken this metal and, and deteriorated anything on it. It's, it's still in good shape. What I do now is when I'm finished with this, removing completely, I would take some brake clean, spray the part back down, apply my new gasket dressing, my new gasket sealer. Now that's only for solvent based products. Now you start looking into RTV silicones, like this one right here, the black or the gray, usually what happens is you'll remove most of the silicone you can. A lot of times what you'll have is a residual film left behind. There we go again. You don't want to sit here and scrape it with a metal blade. For something like this, what you want to do, you can do this a couple different ways. One good way you can do it is use brake clean, you can use carburetor parts cleaner, spray the surface. Let it sit for a minute or so. What you can do then is you can either use a paper towel like I did here or you can use a safety scraper, a plastic bladed scraper. And you work its way under the gasket, like this right here, and that's what you end up with. It's kind of hard to see, but you see I've removed part of the gasket on here. Again, like before, no damage to the metal, does a good job. Now, Permatex sells these with extra blade that comes with it, it does a very good job as far as like I said, removing the gasket. You could also use it with the paper gaskets like I did over here too. So either way. But keep that in mind, folks. You guys are working on these engines and transmissions. You don't want to be taking scratch, scratching the parts up really bad. You want it to go really smooth. You want everything to work well. You want all the services prepped for your final assembly and get a really good job. Well, you guys have a good time in the shop. Talk to you next time. Bye.